What's up guys? Welcome to another week in my life. Today I am still in Franklin as you can see with my background here. We're still in the same spot that we've been in for about a month and a half. We are heading out in two and a half weeks to go to San Diego and I am like, oh, I'm so ready to go. I'm a little bit nervous because we haven't traveled in a little while and I've actually never even been to San Diego but we're gonna be staying in Encinitas and I am so excited to be there for the winter so um, yeah we're here for a couple more weeks and today it's been raining all night so I'm gonna go up to Nashville today to get out of the Airstream to work with my sister up at a coffee shop up there and then go get some more tea and yeah hopefully it'll be a good day I'm ready to get out of here talk about my sister's crystal infused water for a second. <laughs> what do you have in there? I've got some quartz, I have some amethyst, some green tourmaline, some really lovely crystal. <laughs> yes, I did bring my own lunch and yes, I might get kicked out. Hope not. <laughs> Um, that was a bust. That place has the craziest music and it's like next to impossible to work there. So I am just giving it up for the day. I'm gonna go get some tea at my favorite tea shop. I'm so excited and I'm just gonna go home and work for the rest of the day. So it's been one of those really frustrating days. I've been sick for like five days. Um, I thought it was because I ate eggs, but I think Actually, it's because I've ran out of my green tea and I've been drinking black tea every morning and it does not settle well with me. Anyways, it's just been that and then it's been raining all day today. And one of the real negatives about living in an Airstream is that when it rains, it feels like you're in a metal tube. And it kept me up all night last night because it was raining so hard. And then um, this morning I was like, I gotta get out of the house, which is why I went to meet my sister for coffee. Anyways, oh, it's just not really working out today, but it's okay because I'm gonna go get some green tea. It's gonna make everything better. I'm gonna have it for the mornings and hopefully my stomach will settle down and I won't feel like crap anymore. I think it's so ironic that I was just talking in my last video about like feeling so good and inflammation and everything. And I think it's really important to pay attention to your body and realize that it's not always gonna be perfect and sometimes you're gonna eat something or do something that stresses your body out and it's just really important to listen at that point. And so I took it easy this weekend and especially yesterday, which was Sunday, and I'm feeling a lot better today. So hopefully it'll be a better day and a better week from this point on. Um, can we take a moment to look at the ceiling? <laughs> this is the most ridiculous car. So this is like a 1996 Jeep Cherokee, which I absolutely love. And we've done like tons of work to it, but we obviously need to redo the ceiling liner. Oh my gosh, every time I get in here, I'm like, this is such a disaster. It's literally stapled. Yeah, stapled to the top. But you know what? You gotta have a small car to drive when you come into town. Like there's no parking and this is so much easier to park than that giant truck. I think I'm gonna head home. I'm feeling okay so far today. 
I really do think it was the tea because I, for the first time in five days, feeling really good today. And the only thing different I did today was not have the tea. So I think that's it. So now I'm gonna add to my list of things that I cannot have black tea, which is, guys, is my body that sensitive that I can't have black tea? Coffee, alcohol, all of it is just like horrible for me. So green tea it is. And honestly, I freaking love green tea. Guys, get on the green tea train, all right? Somebody with me, please. All right, well, I'm gonna go home now and I hope there's not too much traffic. The Airstream claustrophobia is real today. So I'm back at my parents' house. We'll go over there at some point. Can you look right into she the camera right there? Say hi, hi. Put out there. hi everybody. Say my name's Lincoln. My name is Lincoln. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, tell us a knock, joke. Knock knock. Oh, who's there? Um, cow. Cow who? Cow is putting the milk on his face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make that up? Yep. Oh wow, that was a real, a little work. that was a joke. Joke jail. Joke jail. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting no! cow. <laughs> I said it before he said who. Oh jeez. Right? That's cute. Can you really do a burpee? Yeah. Show me how. People Show me. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, that was amazing. <laughs> Let me, oh. Oh! Try to trick me. Oh, I tried. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, you <laughs> Let me try you. Let me try to do it on you. Oh. <laughs> Are you rubbing it in? <laughs> Who shut the doors? Me. What are you doing? What are you doing that for? Just for fun. Is that hard? Yeah, it is. Do you want some help? Sure. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm back working on some emails and I think tonight, Sean and I are gonna go back over to my parents' house again to watch the second episode in Stranger Things season two, which, are you guys watching Stranger Things? I don't know if we're liking it. I can't decide. We have only watched one episode, so I can't really speak, but we're gonna go watch another one tonight and hopefully it'll be good. Also, can we talk about the mullet situation? I'm thinking I could pull off the like new guy, uh, Mad Max's brother, his mullet. If I was in the 80s, I could totally pull off a mullet, I think. <laughs> so stupid. Um, also, I just got an ad for this on Facebook. I have known nothing about this brand, but I totally need this t-shirt because that's basically my life. <laughs> I'm so the old woman friend of everybody. Okay, one thing I noticed about Nashville when I was at Barista Parlor, which is the most bougie hipster place in Nashville. However, man, I do not think I'm cool enough to be there. I mean, I do have a choker on. Um, but I don't think that I'm cool enough to be there and I'm really, really happy to be going to Southern California in San Diego where I feel like it's a little bit more casual and I'm desperately hoping that the dress code is active wear. Is that acceptable to wear active wear at all times? Because whew, I don't have what it takes to be in style all the time, especially when you've got a closet. Let me show you my closet really quick. Okay, so this is my closet, and Sean and I share this closet, so really only half of it, or three quarters of it, more like, is mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but when you have a closet that's this size, you really cannot be in style, because I'm really embarrassed about how messy this is. But um, see, you can only fit this many clothes in, and about half of that. And we're talking, for comparison, like, that's my hand. So it's like four hand widths across. That's my technical measurement. I need to get into the capsule wardrobe thing because I have like three outfits right now that I can wear doing anything, so that's a problem. All right, I got my neighbor over here. We're playing a new game, phase 10. Who's gonna win? Jonah. Yeah, right. <laughs> excuse me, um, I think I'm gonna win. Uh, excuse me, princess. <laughs> <laughs> this kid, what am I gonna do with you? 
I can raise your eyebrow at you, that's what. What, show me. Oh, do that again. <laughs> All right, we'll let you know who wins the game. It'll be me. No, me, stop. No, no, me. Me? Me. <laughs> Look at the camera, tell me what you. <laughs> it's me I gonna win, that's who it's gonna win, me. <laughs> but not just lose over here, Oh. <laughs> ah! Somebody doesn't want to finish the game, which means I won. No, I won. No. Jonah, Jonah, oi, oi, oi. Jonah, no, look, Jonah, look, oi, right oi, here. It says Madeline 9, Jonah 24. What do you think about that? Huh. I don't care. We'll have to have a rematch another day. Welcome home. Why, thank you. So, I'm trying to be really good and take care of myself since I've been sick the last couple of days. And this guy right here. Don't tell me you don't want him. What did you say? I want some Dasano. Dasano is just the Our best favorite. piece of Nashville. It's the best Nashville. pizza ever. So, part of living a balanced life is letting yourself have some treats. And I think tonight might be the night that I eat some delicious pizza. You know, the way I look at it, if you're the one picking up the pizza, you're allowed to have a slice on the way home. Aww. He came bearing gifts. Thank you. <laughs> Gonna dig into this pizza. So excited. So I may have eaten the entire half of my pizza on the way home. <laughs> a whole half of a large <laughs> on the drive home. <laughs> Whoops, I don't blame you. Oh my gosh, she was so good. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Let's get into some Stranger Things. Let us do it. Guys, I'm gonna eat my pizza, watch some Stranger Things. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!